Today we're going to be making Halloween ghosts and I came up with this because I have so many vases, florist vases such as these and um, and I, I they're filling my cabinets up. So this is a really cute way to make some Halloween um, ghost votive holders. And so you start with a clean florist vase such as these and a mixture of glue and water. So, so far Everything's pretty cheap. I got the glue at the dollar store, mixed it with some water, and the vases I already had, and like I said, I have an abundance of them, so that is why I came up with this little project. And what the kids are going to do is they're going to take the glue and slather it all over their vases. So go ahead, you guys, and stick your fingers in there and put the glue all over your vases. And this is a messy job, which is why we're sitting in our backyard. And they're going to put that all over their vase. And this is kind of like decoupage almost. Just put it all over. Tavis, try not to get it all over the floor. Okay, so now once you have them covered with glue, you've got to work quickly. And you're going to take, again, cheap Kleenex, dollar store Kleenex, and you're going to start applying it to the outside of the vase. And you don't want it to look perfect because remember this is going to resemble a ghost. So they are going to start applying their tissue paper. And again, make sure you just do it, you know, all over the place. It doesn't have to look neat or anything like that. Can I put like Okay, they have them all covered and it looks, you need to move. It looks as if um, they're really messy and falling apart. But now you're going to take a second batch of the glue mixture and with their hands and they're going to cover all the tissue paper now. So that's the next thing. Just stick their hands in and start going over that mixture with the, uh, or over the base with the glue. Now you can see we finished doing the gluing and they're really tattered looking, which is perfect. That's exactly what you want for ghosts that are supposedly shrouded in tattered sheets and whatnot. So it's a messy job. You can see that's why we did outside. And now we need to just let them dry for a while and then we'll apply the ghoulish faces you can see that these are completely dry and I did let them dry overnight and see how they have that um, it looks like like sheets I mean it's very eerie very spooky lots of texture to them remember these are just simple vases with a glue and water mixture and tissue paper and the kids did these the kids did these all on their own and now they're getting ready to put faces on them and then we will put candles on them and have them illuminated for the night. But I love the spooky textured and wait until the candles go inside them and you can see the glow and they, they just have a very eerie, mysterious feel once they get lit up. And so let's put the faces on and we'll show you the finished product. Okay, and here is the final result. Look how cute those are. Look at the texturing, how they're shrouded like in gauze, almost mummified. We use googly eyes, they glue googly eyes. My daughter chose a more spooked kind of ghost and my son went for the angry look, but they are absolutely darling coming up the walkway um, for Halloween night. Again, simple vases, you have them around for them, you know, receiving flowers and dollar store googly eyes and the mouth is simply construction paper. I think they turned out absolutely darling. And I just, like I said, I love the glow. They, they can be luminaries to walk your, uh, light your walkway. Um, and if they get broken, guess what? It's no money lost. Thank you again. Another design by Michelle. Bye-bye.